Oh, hello, people. Hello. It's my. Well, hello, everybody. How's you doing? Remember me? It's been a while. Where are we? Blooming heck, it's near the end of March already. The weather at last is starting to improve. So hopefully we'll be out for it's starting to rain now. I've just come to give the, the bike to get the wheels turning. See if this camera works very unlikely. I'm just go for a little blast. Clear the cobwebs of both myself and the bike. 12 degrees, wow! Good afternoon, Cock Island. Hopefully we'll be seeing a bit more of you this year. Hopefully we'll see a few more cocks on you this year. Ha ha, say no more. Yeah, just go for a little blast. Let's go down this way. So yeah, hi guys, how are you all doing? Hope you're all well. Oh, one's there. That's how long it's been, I don't even know where the indicators are. <laughs> it's embarrassing. Oh, well, it's been a long winter. I've been out twice I think I've tried to sell this bike I've tried to swap it I've tried to get something else I've done all the things I said I wouldn't do went through a winter of regretting buying this bike went out for a ride in it, loved it again didn't use it for a week wanted to get rid of it uh, now I spent a fortune on accessories so <laughs> it, it's Basically, to get rid of it, it's going to cost me too much to get rid of it because it's only new. I've had it less than a year, a year in April. So if I did get rid of it, I'd lose on bloody fortune. I do miss my GS so much, I cannot put it into words. But I keep forgetting that I got rid of it for a reason. And that reason is, I couldn't ride it because of my knee. But I keep getting seduced back into wanting one again and look at me old videos or absolutely adore that bike but there's nothing wrong with this bike in fact I can't remember I, I'm, I can't believe I was I had videos I was doing videos about thinking of changing the GS because it was boring what was wrong with me I would give anything for a GS again well that's nothing against the Honda Goldwing it's a completely different style that's the thing and I'm having a job to switch my brain to it. Like now I'm out on it, see I'm quite mm, loving it. The only thing I don't like about it, I like the fact it's close to the floor, it's just a seat. It's too far forward, I could do with it. But the seat's shaped, you can't go any further back. And I'm not paying 100 a quid for the bloody Corbins or something. You know, for a fancy seat. Um, so, yeah. It's going to be a bit of a muddled up video to be honest with you, because I've not been out for a while. I don't want to say too much because I don't know if this bloody camera's working. Summer's on its way. Hoping to get out a few more times this year. A bit more of an effort. Got Scotland with Graham and Albert, which I can't wait for. Hopefully get a few rides out with Jason this year. And rekindle our friendship on our ride. Or rekindle our relationship. <laughs> we used to have some great rides and a good giggle, so hopefully we can. But I think the last time I went with Jason, I was just annoyed at the fact that he had got a GS and I hadn't. Because I, I was always used to ride ahead of Jason. And I just could not keep up, I just couldn't do the things on this bike that the GS could and it frustrated me a bit. And that sent me on that spiral of, oh, I want the GS back. I've been looking at the Multistrada. V4 Sport, uh, the V4 Rally, <laughs> the new GS, even though I can't bear them. I looked at a new GS Adventure, which is the old style, but they're still ridiculously expensive. But I lose too much on this. Now, in a way, I'm glad that's happened because I do love this bike. It, I mean, it does everything I want it to, and it's comfy, it's chilled, it stops me riding everywhere like a pillock, you know. 
Mm. Never used to go off road. Um, so I don't know. It's like when you get one of those bees in your bonnet or those scra itches you've got to scratch. I'm afraid I'm a bit like that. I've also discovered a few things. I've now officially been diagnosed as with ADHD and slight autism. Fucking wonderful. Just what you needed to know. Which explains why I'm such an ass sometimes and how I view things. <laughs> doesn't change my life whatsoever but uh, yeah it's just fascinating finding it out um, because obviously the little girl's got a few things and uh, so you start living about things you were like as a child and then I thought you know I need to look into this further and yep there we go so but then again so I think lots of people have got it I mean there's different different levels is all part of the life you just think it's normal it's just you so really you can pigeonhole anything can't you into a category so yeah but officially yeah that's me ADHD Andy it does explain a lot <laughs> it really does uh, never mind anyway so yeah other than that it's going to bloody rain isn't it I've uh yeah, so I booked this in for its first service, and uh, when you buy the the bagger version, the non saw version, it doesn't come with sensor stand, heated seat, or fog lamps. So I put the sensor stand on it. I've done a few at the bits of balls, but I really wanted the fog lamps. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to bite the bullet. I mean, for safety reasons, I'm going to bite the bullet and get them put on. So I got a quote off the Honda dealer. Oh my god, with a 10 even with a 10% discount, it was £760 fitted. Could not believe it. So I thought, you know what, sod it. Put up my credit card, I'll book it in. It's done then, isn't it? Because you know, I want to keep this bike now. Financially, I can't afford to change because I'll lose too much. And then I'll change it, I won't be able to ride the other because I remember, oh yeah, my knee kills, I can't ride it on. <laughs> so, yeah, so. And then I came home, looked into it, found some OEM ones online. I thought I'd just fit them myself. I managed to find a couple of videos of somebody who's fit them themselves because the loom and everything is all there. So after a couple of videos, I found some lamps and I got enough confidence with doing it myself. I thought I'd struggle because of the arthritis in my hands, but you know, if I take my time and be careful and use my brain because I, I used to be a car mechanic when everything used to work. And then I managed to find middle of the, I didn't want to really do it cheap ones, I wanted the middle of the road ones, I can't remember what make they are now, I'll put them up here so now. Uh, and I managed to find them on Amazon, American Amazon. I thought, well I'll get them with Amazon because I've got a good backup system, if anything goes wrong, I can send them back, you know, Amazon support. Uh, so basically, yeah, they came, I think they worked out £240 for the lamps. About two hours work, done, fitted. So to me, that's a good £500 saving. I was quite chuffed with that. And I got my lamps on my bike. So yeah, still expensive, but a damn sight cheaper than going that route. So I'm very pleased with them and uh, I had to learn how to pull all this console off here, tip it back, split it and everything. But yeah, it's because you had to put the switch in. Um, yeah, I'm really, I'm dead chuffed, I'm really pleased with it. I feel a bit safer, a bit more visible now. I don't do any nighttime riding, so I'm not going to benefit anything from that. But yeah, so I'm red pleased, it's got the switch there, it looks um, OEM now. OEM switch, got a little light on there saying the fog lamps are on. Quite pleased with that. Um, but yeah, so I'm quite motivated to get quite happy. Got a proper touring bag for the back of this, that fits on the rack I installed. So it looks like a back box really, and I've still got the back seat free, whereas before, last year I strapped it on the seat. So now I can, I mean not that I have anybody on it, but I could always carry two bags if I wanted. I even looked at changing this into the tour, but to do that the payments would double. Because <laughs> it's because yeah, I've got it on finance, I've got three years warranty on that, so that makes me feel a bit happier, because usually they're only two year warranty. So yeah, I'm sorry I'm flirting all over the place in my conversation. ADHD! <laughs> I can blame on everything now. Um, so, uh, yeah, so it's booked in for its first service. 
uh, before I go to Scotland with Albie and Graham again. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm not too sure if I'm going to film it this year, to be honest. I've been three times, filmed all three. It's like, what, what, it's going it's to be nothing different, is it? Really? So, you know, is it really worth doing a hassle? Because it is a bit of a hassle. So for the stress, I don't know if it's worth it or not. I'll decide on the day. I'll probably take this camera with me, stick it in the back box and decide on the day. I won't be bothering with anything else. We'll see. What a wet, horrible winter it's bloody been. I think I've been out twice in about four months, maybe five months. What a waste. <laughs> a waste of having a big expensive bike sat in the garage. It's ridiculous. This matte paint, I've decided to... Uh, I'm going to try and... Um, ceramic coat it myself. I've seen some good ceramic coated for quite a good price, just going to give it a go. Rather than pay bloody hundreds to get somebody else to do it. At least have a bit of protection, won't it? And because it's a matte one, I can do the bodywork and the plastics with the same one. Because I think you have to have different ones for different materials, don't you? So yeah, these floor plates I'm loving. They should be a bit more comfortable for Scotland. The hand grips will come from... Yeah, I'll pull over and show you, won't I? Let me go down Brookhouse and I can show you. The wife's got a caravan store down here somewhere down there. Time to dig that out. In there somewhere. I'll take her out for it, but I ain't using it. <laughs> it's up to her. I ain't going on it. Let's have a pull over here. So yeah, let's show you. Ah! Do 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 do. Look at them lights. Fog lamps, driving lamps, whatever you call them, I love them. And they're about 25% um, brighter than the OEM ones, which is why I like them. But they're a nightmare. It's a fart around in the trims and the wiring, but I'm yeah, pleased with them. I also bought this little trim here that sits on the top, because there it was all contoured and it was a nightmare. Water used to puddle when you used to wash it. Even used to, used to blow it out, you sustain. Um, there's a gap there so air will get in there so it won't overheat and it's the induction area so it should be fine uh, so yeah that's an improvement <laughs> what else have I done <laughs> yeah not too sure about these I've got the back of this is always getting filthy and I realise there's little fillets you can get here that fills that gap in because there's all the road shit comes up and it's always dusty so they're um, chrome uh, what are they called? Same with them, seven makers, um, Gold Strike. They came today from America, Amazon. So I'll fit them later. That should stop all this dust flying up. Because it always throws up off here. Why they're not designed with that, I don't know. That's because that's what I did last year, those two. Uh, foot plates and I've put those on last year, but I've chucked these on. And I'm not quite sure. Because you've got the chrome gold ring, you've got the chrome there, you've got the chrome there. So does it look out of place or does it not? I don't know. I mean, you can get all sorts of bloody extras. You can have little chrome pieces go around there. You know, the chrome piece goes around your headlight. You have a chrome piece there. Chrome bits there. I don't want to go too over the top, but just a little bit. I'm undecided at the moment. I'm thinking I'll take it off, but let us know what you think. Because there is natural chrome on the bike. It's not just what I've put on. So, yeah. But she does look better with that uh, backrest on, doesn't she? And the bag. So yeah, I'm pleased with that in amps. <coughs> what a saving. Should be pretty standard on a 25 grand for bike really, shouldn't they? <laughs> so the only thing I haven't got really is the back box, which I've solved that problem, and the heated seat. Well, I'm not that bothered by that. I've never had a seat heated seat, so I've no idea what one feels like. So that's okay for me. Let's go up here. So yeah, what well, you guys been up to you all out on your bikes now? Any of you lot, I'm sure you have been watching Richie's uh, trip to Morocco. Wow. Oh, they sport that, they're putting that bloody thing there now. It's been lovely sitting there looking at the water of your bike. Oh. 
Yeah, they fucking spoil everything, don't they? Probably some fucking health and safety issue. Some dickhead in an office somewhere. Oh, trying to justify his job. Let's spoil somebody else's fun. It's like, it's like the council tax has gone up, and what do they do? Council tax has gone up by a massive amount, and then but they take services away, and they're taking mental health services away from high school. So any mental health issues you have in school, they used to have a department used to help you out for children that can't cope. No, I'm taking that away now. I'm taking it away, but charging us more. I'm spending millions of pounds to, to give us different bins when there's nothing wrong with the old system. The fucking world's mad, isn't it? Absolutely mad. You know, I don't think who, who you care who you vote for these days, Labour, Liberal, but the Conservative. They're all the same, just in a fucking different disguise now, aren't they? Just, that's all they're in. Just a different buddy, a name tag, but all do exactly the same thing. Don't give a shit about the people. And they can all, all come up with these brilliant ideas. Why aren't you changing? There you go. They'll come up with these brilliant ideas when it's election time, isn't it? To look what we're going to do. Vote for me. And then... When it comes to it, they won't fucking do it. Anyway, no more politics. Sorry. Yeah, well, hopefully I'll get a few videos out this year. You know, I don't know what to do about Scotland. I mean, I've got a few trips planned. As in, I say trips, I want to go a few out, rides out with uh, Jason if possible. Uh, I'm going to try and get a few days off and do trips. I mean, one of the place trips I want to do, I want to go to, uh, maybe go down Diddley Squat Farm that way. Even Richard Hammond's. Uh, smallest cog. Just, just a little ride out for the day. Maybe stay in a hotel overnight. Up to Yorkshire. Or mind riding around Gritchie's background in uh, back garden in Derby. Up to Windermere. Just a weekend job, you know, one night over. Go for a bit of a ride. So that's the trouble. I, I, I'm very hard. It's very hard to get me out the house. I'm not very motivated. I'm going to try my best this year to make the most of it because who knows how much longer I can bloody ride for with this manky leg and now it's my shoulders are going. So I've got hands, shoulders, and shoulders, knees and toes. Fucking hell. I'm turning into the song, I'll go, shall I? Uh. <laughs> another one here, look. Let's make a path that we don't need and waste some more money. Well, it's been fine for fucking 30 years, there's people crossing over here where the path was. Now they've built a new path, made it wider, and moved it away from the roundabout. But 20 foot. And all this is, is around the corner as well, they've widened it. Widened the path. The path that nobody ever uses, and they've probably spent over a million quid doing it. I'll talk politics and the... Uh, Anyway guys, just a quick one, hopefully we'll uh, crack on with some more in the future. Oh there, uh, yeah, rain's coming so that's good timing, enjoy that little burst, and a quick chat, catch you on the next one, which I promise won't be so far this time, because the weather is coming, woohoo, see ya.